Today I'm going to be trying out Neo, a new AI-centered browser. So rather than just being your normal browser and having one of those add-ons, little plugins, extensions that add a bit of AI into the mix, Neo is coming to you right for, with AI at its very, very heart. And at the moment, you can't get access, but you can join a waitlist and join the Discord. And there's links to both of them underneath. But thankfully, I've managed to get access so that I can show you around and show you what makes this browser very different. So first of all, let's just take a quick look at an overview of it. Native and safe, of course. So AI native and safe. Why is it safe? Well, it's Norton who made this. They're, you know, one of the biggest antivirus companies in the world. So they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to security. And as I say, it is um, AI at its heart here. So everything that you're familiar with, with like ChatGPT and so on, you're going to have here with Neo. You're going to be able to prompt it effectively to do searches for you as you would a normal search engine but with lots more additional exciting features and I think this is just going to be the new way of browsing we've got ad blockers in there as well typing assistant so it, it's sort of AI is never far away from this browser experience and it really helps you speed through and do what you need to do using your browser but in a slightly more efficient way so with that let's get stuck in and go on to the other side and I'll show you exactly how it works so here we are in our new Neo browser. And as you can see, it's sort of a similar layout to say ChatGPT in that you have this main area in the middle there that you can just say whatever you wanted to do. Um, you can upload files just here and then you can also use the microphone to just uh, get it to type out what it is you're looking for, which I really like. I use that all the time. Then on the left now, we've got uh, all of our previous search history, which will appear down here and we'll start filling that up in a minute so I can show you some of the other features. And then at the top, you've got like the weather, time, all of that kind of stuff. And that's controlled just down here where you can see widgets. So we can switch on and off the clock, for example, and the weather and everything else, which it automatically knows where you're based if you give it a location ability. Now, the other good thing, I was using Google Chrome and I was able to import everything straight into Neo when I set it up. So that means like all of your passwords and everything, your bookmarks, all of that stuff was securely put straight into Neo. Neo ready for me to use. So it wasn't like a big deal for me to switch over to this browser. Also, I'm using a Mac, but you can actually download this for the Mac and Windows as well. Whereas some of the other, they don't work with Windows, they just work with Mac. So it's great to be able to use this no matter what platform you're on. So now let's try and type in a few different searches and give this a little try. And I'll show you what the results are like. When you're doing a search, it will only go on the internet to pull that information in if it needs to. So now let's just type this in. Uh, tell me about Windsor Castle in London and then what it will do is just give you the answer if it's a straight up easy thing that it needs to answer a little bit like on Google they've just started putting the kind of AI summary of your question the AI answer it's done in here but without any of that clutter that you get on a normal browser it's just literally giving us the answer brilliant and we can also have that read aloud we can copy it we can uh, go ahead and regenerate if we're not happy with the answer share it as well if we want to and then we can do a full Google search if we want to go and see other results in the search engine but it, what's nice about this is that it's very clear and clean and we just get exactly what it is we ask for now the Neo browser is intelligent enough to know when it needs to go on the internet to find out some information so for example if I was to say can you please tell me what the weather is like today in Windsor there you go we just submit that see it's very very familiar the way that you use this browser in terms of of it being similar to ChatGPT, but it's a browser first and foremost. And there we are, it's gone straight on, gone to AccuWeather and grabbed the results for us, 19.5 uh, degrees and so on. So it's it's very, very handy for that. But of course, it's also great for just normal things like shopping online. So if I'm gonna say to it, I want a pair of, um, let's just say, I'm looking for a size nine pair of brown shoes to wear for a wedding. So they need to be very, very smart. There we go, submit that. now. You you wouldn't normally put like that in as a search in Google, would you? You'd have to be very, very sort of short and specific. But now look, here you go. Uh, here are smart brown shoe options in the UK, size nine, suitable for a wedding, plus quick tips to choose the right pair. Uh, Oxford, uh, whole cut Oxford. Who knew there was all these different types of shoes? Recommended materials and so on. If you like, I can find current availability and prices in the UK. And then all I have to do is type yes, and it will just give me exactly what I want. So so 
really, really loving the way in which it helps you do searching as well with Neo. Now, what happens if you get a little bit trigger happy and you start doing searches for all kinds of different things and then you end up with loads of tabs, which is what happens a lot in Google and other browsers? Well, let me just open up a few tabs now and you see exactly what happens. I'm going to pull the browser window down. Let's just pull that down. There you go. So you can see the tabs at the moment. We've just got the Windsor Castle information and then we've got uh, this, our main home page. I'm going to whip open a whole load of tabs real quick for you and just watch what happens. And there you go. At the top now, you can see what it's done. It's grouped everything that I've been looking at. You can just click on them to shrink them down and open them up. And when you do that, you've got the various places that you've been and you can see even a screenshot, which is really helpful because sometimes you're looking at the top. It doesn't always sort of tell you straight away which website it is just by looking at that. For example, that says shop men's shoes with, a, with an icon. I've no idea who it is. Now I'm able to just by rolling my mouse over it, I know it's shoe.co.uk. So that's really, really helpful. Shopping, it's grouped everything up together. And obviously the more tabs that you open, it will still just put them all in there nice and neat like that. And it uses AI to determine what it is you're looking at and which category it should go into. So that is a very useful feature. And if you like that feature, press that like button. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't stand it when you go to a website, maybe like a news website or a blog or something, and you get a ton of ads all over the page and it really interferes with the content. There's so much so you, you don't really enjoy being on the site. But what happens when you go and look at a site like that in the Neo browser is it cuts down those ads really, really nicely. And this new site, I know it's got a ton of ads all over it and it looks really quite nice. Now, if we go and look at that same website there in Google, which I've got just here, Google's Chrome, you'll see that we've got ads all over the place coming in, uh, running videos and everything. And I just find it really distracting and it puts me off. So I love the fact that the Neo browser just cuts a lot of that out. Really great feature, ad blocking. Now going back to blog posts, sometimes they are very long. Take this one here by Tim Ferriss, fantastic guy doing great things. But this is a big read and I would just like to get to the point. So all I need to do is just click on the right hand side here and now Neo has gone through the entire blog post. I can just click on one of these pre-created questions there or I can just say summarize this blog post and now it's just going to go through the whole thing and just give me the main bullet points top level information about it which is fantastic and then of course with that you can uh, copy it use it for other things that you want to do put it into a doc maybe it's the best points of a blog post it's really handy for that read it aloud or share it with others and so on so summarization is fantastic I also love it especially for YouTube so let's go and try that so here we are on YouTube we've got a video this video is like an hour long so again I just want to get to the main information of this video I just use the built-in Neo browser ask me anything section and look at that what specific accident did the Ferrari 458 spider in the video sustain great I don't need to watch the whole video to figure it out and it'd be buried in there somewhere in the middle I just click on that and then it will just load the answer in for us now because you're using a browser all the time it's really handy to have everything within it ie reminders for things too so here I've got a meeting lined up and all I need to do is just open up Neo as normal we've got it just here and it's picked out of the page already that I have a meeting scheduled on October the 1st and then you'll see there's a little plus icon there I just click the plus icon and then it will save that for me right here and then remind me when it's coming up so love that system uh, again with it being all within the browser that I use every day I'm not going to miss it this way now when you're surfing the web and you're doing all of these great things with the Neo browser just on the left hand side as I showed you earlier you can see your history there and then of course because you're doing much more than just a simple search online you can actually see like the entire conversation that's been going on with you and Neo as well so it's really useful to look back at those conversations and then you've got the search facility there as well and you can go ahead and delete everything uh, if you don't want any particular chat to be recorded there it's worth mentioning as well that all your data is processed locally with Neo rather than being sent on the web so it's all private and secure and on your own system another nice feature I found with Neo is this personalization feed we have down the bottom here if you just click it we've got things that we might be interested in as you can see just here all coming up links to websites and then you can just click on say food lifestyle news technology and then you just go and peek at it like this it opens it up and if you're interested in it then all you need to do is just click this little resize and now it just opens up in a full browser tab 
So this is a nice way to just get everything that you're interested in in one nice convenient feed on your homepage of Neo. So great browser. I see um, how things are really changing in the browser world. People don't necessarily want to go through tons of results themselves anymore like they used to. And it's time for a new browser experience. I think you're going to see a lot more companies moving in this direction. But Neo is the first. And if you want to get your hands on this, then go ahead and join the waitlist underneath this video. There's a link. And then also you can jump into their Discord as well if you want to go in there and get in amongst the community. So very excited in times. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next AI related video very soon.